I lost my ship last time. Because I was chasing pirates. But I've learned my lesson. And now it's time to bring down the cult. Gotta go try, buddy. Gotta get a new ship. Oh. We're having technical difficulties. Oh, I'm paused. That's okay. Whoops. Uh, right. I'm gonna figure out what kind of ship I got. Oh, I had such a nice ship. And, um, actually, did I lose a, I lose a crew man, didn't I? I lost my surgeon. Well, I ain't gonna buy a good one. After being caught cutting purses, one angry victim broke all the fingers on this... Well, I'm changing his name. That's stupid. He's a convict and arachnophobia. That's fine. We probably won't fight too many... I don't know if it's really necessary to have the surgeon, but I like to have someone who can run around and, uh... Now, how did I change their names? Hmm. Do it before. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know where it makes sense to do that. Anyway, do I have any um, maps to sell? Good. Got some monies. Um. Okay. I definitely need that. I definitely need that. I like to take out, take them out. I definitely need a mortar. Cannot live without mortar. Uh, if I'm a bit strapped for cash, I could always. So I'm gonna have a navigator and me for a so I can get away without having. I just need more guns. That's fine. Um, cannon that tries high section damage for negligible hull damage. I don't know if that's good or bad. I did have the flaming cannon. I think as long as I have the chain shot and the mortar. Now I want to get... These are the automatic pumps. No, it's a hand off. Oh, oh god. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to have it, even if I sell that. I can get the automatic winch though. Got to get at least one of them. Oh, I really. I should. Oof. What was this? What's this? Heavy hull armor. That's cool. That's something. I've got enough supplies for the journey. There's no point selling them. Alright, I'm gonna have some cash. God, maybe I should have just bought a new ship. Oh, look at that, how the gun. Mm. But you can only have one type then. Mm. What was the ship I had before? I don't know. Oh, that's nice. Hell health, health, 6,500. Well, we can live in, we can live in dream, can't we? Okay. Right. So then we have a look -see at the map ski. Okay, I can actually get a bit more money if I uh, explore the rest of that. I've got, all my gates are open. Hmm. Let's get a bit of money and then. Whoa! Why have I lost my map? Oh. 
<laughs> Panic stations. Right, so that's where I'm going. To do what? Slay a monster. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Hang on. I lost my ship. Do I? Well, I need the mortar. Am I going to be able to slay this monster? I don't. I don't think I am. Okay. My goal is to kill the kraken. Balin told you to enter Pullman's cave, a bay where the tide can trap the kraken. Okay. I have the mortar, the devil rock. Out. So I think, I think, I think, I think I'm fine, right? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I like to save people. Might damage my morale, though. Yep. Because I couldn't save him. Sure, let's see. Let's see if we can get some monies. Some free monies. Yes, monies. A thud alerts you to something small having knocked into the hull of the ship. Looking overboard, you see it is a crate. Once hauled aboard and cracked open, you find a stash of valuables. Lovely. The remains of ships that were brave or foolish enough to attempt to navigate through the reef lay bobbing on the current. You skirt round the reef, picking up some supplies that were still attacked along the way. That's great. Can I get into this section? Can I get like right here? No? That's really annoying. Oh look, look how it's kind of, it's kind of working. Just get as close as you can. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna risk, I'm gonna try, we'll go save some people again. Cause I'm a hero, remember? You find a loaf boat drifting in the sea. The crew stand by the rail tentatively watching it approach. The closer the lifeboat drifts, the more obvious it becomes that the only survivor on board has been driven mad. Whether this was through extended isolation or the events that led to him being on the lifeboat are unknown. While he looks harmless enough, his mental condition means he is unpredictable and potentially a danger to the crew. Mm. Is he too far gone to be saved? Okay. Condemn him. Mm. Yeah, we're not going to leave somebody behind. Ooh! The survivor appears detached from the world, not appropriately acknowledging what is happening as he is rescued. Despite this, he is he approaches you with his hand outstretched, displaying God, displaying an intricate amulet. Clearly, this is intended as a gift of some kind. You are unsure, but he repeatedly tries to place it in your hand. You accept, and as he is led to the hold, you inspect the jewelry. He'll fetch a fine price. How lovely. So that's a bit of cash, plus the exploration. Uh, I don't know if, I've got, if that's enough for anything. Let's go. Oh, let's go back. Oh, oh my God, where's the port? Do do exploring for money. It's a very simple job. I sail the ship. And then I get some money. Ooh, 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 ooh. We're sailing around the world. If we pass it, what's this? Oh, checking through supplies. The gold-filled purse. That's the third gold-filled purse. You'd think when I checked the first time and found the gold-filled purse, I would have checked uh, another one. Oh, we're gonna go that way, are we? All right. Long way round, no bother. <gasps> you recognize the vessel that bears aggressively down on you and try to correlate the ship's markings with memories of your misdeeds. You draw a blank. That's probably a strong indication of some poor life chases. No, it's not, because I'm a hero. You witness the destruction of Southerton in the Five Isles, and this survivor blames you for not putting a stop to it. Jesus, I didn't want to get involved in local politics. That, well, no, I'm going to try fleeing, but stuff to do. Bringing your spyglass down, you smile to yourself. 
at the frustration on your opponent's faces. As it dawned on them, they weren't going to catch you. You remind yourself that this will only fuel the fire of their revenge. Yeah, but I got bigger fish to fry, like kraken fish. I hate this land I so much. I've, I've gone so wrong. I wish you could just click on the big map as to where you want to go. That would probably be my only complaint about this game. But then I guess it's a bit more... I don't know, if you're sailing a ship you can't really look at the big picture. Uh huh. Guild, 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 guild. Oh, only 26. That Was that worth my time? I don't know. But, uh, let's see. I want... Like, the mortar's the mortar, like, I'm not, it doesn't, I don't think it's going to affect the devil rock, which kind of mortar I have. So that's only important for general thing. So I want to get, I think I want the automatic pumps if I can afford them. I still can't afford them. Oh, that made my life so much easier on the other ship, to not have to worry about pumping. Oh, do I wait, try and get 50 more and buy them? Or do I start reinforcing some deck? I don't want to get destroyed. I don't know if that's worth it either. Um, 50 squids. Thing is, because I think the next place... Ah, oh, see now, this this is good. This is good. I'm enjoying this because I want to just get the crack in, right? Really goal folks. I'm with pirates. I'm not dicking about with like all of that jazz. I just want to kill the kraken. But I need a strong ship. <sighs> all right. I could go out to the other de other gate, to the unknown place, get some money there, and then go. I just... I just... I want... But, you know, everything's a risk, isn't it? Because everything I click on could get me money, or it could get me a fight, it could damage me, it could cost me. Oh, man. Man, this is great. This is great stuff. But at least exploring is easy. I mean, that's an easy 150. And then I can get the pumps. Even if that- oh god, it's pirate land. Chunks of ice, solid as a rock, permeate the waters you sail in. Each one you collide with thuds against the hull, hull in an ominous manner. Icebergs will be present in any combat in this region. When icebergs hit the hull, they cause a small amount of damage. By purchasing an icebreaker, you can protect your ship from this frontal damage. However, not even that will save you from side collisions as you change. Fuck you then. Let's not get into any fights. Oh, and this is easy because the lighthouse is right there. I don't even need to do nothing. Oh. Oh. Oh, what's with the ominous music? Oh, I don't have the diving bell anymore. Of course I don't because I've got a different ship. I can just manage to get to the light lighthouse without triggering these guys, right? Fabulous. I don't want to fight no pirates. So now where's the town? Okay. Try and avoid pirates. Some free treasure. Some free fish. Should be good. Should be good. Just pay attention to stay away from pirates. I do like the music in this though. Free money! Free money! I actually don't need any repairs so... Oh, the cheap supplies. You get 10 for 20 usually. So... Yeah, I'll take it. Even though I'm trying to... My ship's fine. Don't be selling me to patching up. Lovely. 
Right, I definitely don't need to worry about supplies. I should probably shouldn't even spend that 20. What am I like? Right. God, these guys look angry, don't they? I find it hard to not go save people when I know there's like people in need of saving. The last one was bad, so this one probably won't be bad, right? That's how this works, yeah? Oh, it was good. You fish the body of a castaway out of the water. You never can tell whether they're unconscious or dead. Unfortunately, this one is long gone, his body beginning to show signs of rotting from being in the water too long. As you check him over, you see a beautiful piece of jewellery locked in his death grip. Right. Um... You know, I'm actually just going to do the guild here because everything's going to be, whoa, 25% increase. So, I don't even, I mean, oh, cracker, cluster. unless there's things that you can't get in the other place that I want, but I don't think so. No, so, yeah. We'll go back to the other place. Try not to get involved. Are you going to attack me? Are you chasing? No, I have to attack you. That's fine. You find a lifeboat drifting in the sea. The crew stand by the rail, tentatively watching it approach. Oh, it's this one again. Well, it worked well last time. Oh, no. The moment he's on the ship, the survivor goes berserk. He has an amazing strength given his malnourished condition and it takes most of the crew to put him down. And unfortunately one crew member was badly hurt in the encounter, so that's gonna cost me. And phooey. I wonder I can't remember how far away this is the fang drop. I can't remember how far away is this the one that Yeah, I think this might be the one with the green thing. Might be the one where I get a disc it tells me if I hover over it. I get a discount somewhere. It's probably the green one, right? So let's go there. Let's save our monies. Oh, survivor. I can't, I can't sail past the survivor. Oh, lost me some morale. Sorry I didn't read that one. I like reading them. But uh, I'm just so focused on my goal. Uh. Uh -huh -huh. I haven't explored down there. Oh! Yep, I've wasted, wasted a journey. I should have gone down to the one I haven't explored. Get some money there. Yeah, it's, it, uh, uh, that was a mis- Oh, fudge. gonna cost me two moves. Yeah, I mean I earn more in the than than I lose. But that's that's really stupid. Yeah, what was it? Twenty five resources a time. Oh poisonous gas. The toxic geology of the Forsaken Seas have bled into this area, the vents spewing poisonous gas into the air, restricting visibility and sapping your health. In this region, poisonous gas permeates the air. In combat, this will constantly eat away at the crew health bar until it enters the red portion. That's horrible. We are definitely avoiding fights here. Thank goodness the lighthouse is real close. 24... It was a miracle you spotted the small shape in the water in this thick fog, but it doesn't feel much like one as you fish out the bloated corpse. It's hard to tell whether they drowned first or the poisonous mist suffocated them. Neither fate bears thinking about. You take the bejeweled ring from his finger, they won't be needing it any longer. Click on the lighthouse, please. Free money. And there's 
some monies. Some more free money. Money and fish. Yeah, I may as well go get the free fish Make up for the uh, journey. But we will certainly be avoiding combat. I do not like this thing about the gas. Avoid exclamation points. I don't actually know what the exclamation points signify if they're um what kind of I mean the couple I did just there were pretty good for me but uh I'm just uh Oh see the curiosity gets you. Curiosity gets you A lifeboat barely afloat, drifting through the choking mists. As it nears, you see how age-worn it is, with a desiccated corpse inside. You wonder how long this boat has been on its lonely voyage. Before moving on, you spy an amulet, clutched tight by bony fingers. It seems a waste to leave it for the poison mist to corrode. Will you retrieve the amulet? I can't see why I wouldn't. Crew grumble about disturbing the dead, but selling the amulet will do more for a living crew. It's worth it for the money right now. Hopefully my crew might will get a boost when we kill the Kraken. Uh, where am I going? Oh yeah, free fish. And that's all the free stuff, right? Shipwrecks are usually good, but it could be a fight as well. So we'll just go up to the port, get my 150, and call this a successful journey. <laughs> Sailing through the toxic gas, the toxic gas, the toxic gas. Where's the... Oh man. Is the port an exclamation point or am I looking in the wrong place? I guess I have to click on the exclamation point. Find out what the crack is. Everyone knows of the tragedy that befell the area now known as the Forsaken Seas. An entire region choked on the poisonous gases vomited from the islands themselves. But it was a new crisis when Shimmer Seas started to suffer the same fate. The locals of this port were wise enough to evacuate in good time, and slowly other nearby islands began to decay into uninhabitable husks. Now, much like its southerly neighbor, the area is a desolate wasteland. Would this creeping rot spread further? Oh shit, man. So that was a complete waste of time. There's nowhere to sell my... My mappiness. Oh, fooey. Well, I couldn't have known that before I got here. So where am I? I'm here. So I either want to go through North Gate or mm, that gate's a lock of little. Um, yeah, not sure how much I I got back eighteen food, so that saved me the. So it really cost me seven to get here, but. I much change that's a bit of a waste. So I'm gonna go up here and then to my cheap port. Yep. Get confused. God I get so confused. Same back out through the same gate, but just take the north one. All right then. Oh. Why is the trade route yellow? Does this mean I don't get a discount? I thought this was the one I get the discount in because it was green. Oh god. Let's see what it says. 
Oh, I do get the discount. I wonder if I get more discount if I... The prices in this port are being affected by the following modifiers. Defeating a, lo a troublesome local pirate has applied a 15% discount. But a raided trade route is increasing prices by 10%. 10%. Let's, um, yeah, let's heal this guy. What is it? Revive? Oh, and his negative trait is what? Increases poisonous gas damage by 50%. Well, we won't go near the poisonous gas then, will we? So, is it, I, I need to test out stuff anyway. Do you know what? I haven't set. Oh, the pirates don't seem to have noticed you yet. An audacious ploy occurs to you. It wouldn't take long to conceal your weapons. Sail on and they might mistake you for just one more trader. A new customer for their corrupt services. Um. Sail on. Does that mean f I can come back if they... The pirates are clearly too preoccupied with the prospect of an easy new mark to suspect your views. They sidle up to your ship close enough for boarding. There couldn't be a more perfect time trap. I think that's good for me? I don't know. I haven't got the spikes on this ship. I can't remember where I got them, so... Why aren't you firing if you're fully loaded? What's the problem? doing over here? Right for impact! Oh, brace. Why are these guns not firing? Did I do something wrong? Obviously. Come on. Repair. Right, this isn't set to... How do I... Oh god, see I can't, I can't fucking remember how... Let me put the thing on it. There we go. Right for impact! This before I went straight to the crack and eh? because I can't remember any of the fucking buttons. What's this? this uh, okay, that's fine. Mass need repair. Come on, Doc. Guess. Better do better with the ram. Need repairing again. Oh my God. Come on. Right, let's go. Oh, these dickheads. She hasn't come up against anyone with the anti ram yet. Right for impact! Couple more shots left over there, that's fine. There we go. That should do it, right? Bye bye. Oh, yeah. I learned how to. I learned how to do it. To get you more money. Woohoo! We did all right. It's not too much, not too much damage to repair. So now we should be quids 
in. Do I have any? No. Um, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Okay. Right. Oh, fire cluster bomb. Sounds cool, but it's probably not as cool as it is. Catapult. Exceptionally powerful weapon that can only be fired from the furthest distance. Very high hull. Section damage, moderate crew damage. Low chance of causing hull cracks, but slow. Mortar shell punches through deck and explodes inside the ship. Causes a single hull crack, massive hull damage. High section and crew damage. Slow, that sounds lovely. I should make notes. But what I'm here for is for the things I need. They don't have the automatic. A crow's nest? What do you need a crow's nest for? Visibility on the enemy ship and crew compared to not having one. It also reveals a greater area of fog of war and exploration mode. That's good. Heavy hull armor. I have that already. Gargoyles. When triggered, spews out fires in multiple directions. Useful for dissuading boarding attempts. Can only be used once per battle per side. Mm. Is it automatic? I think it'd be better off reinforcing everything. And then that recharge the maneuver bar. And reload speed bo boost is probably important. Oh, you don't put that on the mortar, so that's fine. Yeah, I think some deck reinforcement. Hull crack, repair speed. Hmm. I don't have enough for two more of these. Um. Yeah. I can afford exactly one repair speed. Okay. Sounds good. Um, I really want those spikes though. Oh man. But anyway, I'm focused on the Kraken now, not the... I think we've got enough food for the journey. Um, oh, I could have bought some morale in the tavern. That's what you do in the tavern. Okay. Is there any free money? Free fish. Some fish, some fish, some fish. Let's do that and then we'll go. There's a cult ship over there. I don't know. Am I that focused? Oh, I didn't repair my gosh darn ship. Oh man. Survivors are an unknown quantity. Nope. We always help. Ten morale. Thank you very much. Right. Let's just go. Right. I'm here. I need to get here and here. Okay. Off we go. Avoiding other ships. I am focused on my goal. Should I do a captain's log in case I die against the Kraken? Yes, I probably should. Sorry, I just I can't pass up the survivors. A lifeboat, chain heading, another 10 morale. Lovely. Uh, where's the port again in this one? Up there. So we will. We'll, um. It's the only sensible thing to do. Right. Is it? I've only got two and I don't have a diving bell. 
I ain't dying against this Kraken, okay? That's all. I got it. I got it. Just. Just make sure I'm going to the. Yep. I really hope. I don't know how. Do I have. See, I feel dumb now because I'm worried that the Devil Rock was on the other ship. An overpowering eye orb, restlessly searching. With great force of concentration, you gradually lower your mental barriers. Exposing yourself is terrifying, but necessary. It isn't long before the eye orb senses you and brings its full, terrible concentration to bear. You almost quail under its weight. It would be so easy to give up to give in. But no. You hold on. You return the stair. And the job is done. He will be coming for you soon. I think it, it would be a bit shit if 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 I don't have the um, but maybe that's it. Maybe I should have gone back to get more. I'm going to feel really dumb if I just don't have it. I gotta get right into those corners. This is a big load of open sea. Well, there's Pullman's Cove. I guess we'll just go there, will we? Yeah, come on, I don't want to get stuck out in the middle of nowhere when it decides to attack me. You wait in cloying certainty that the Kraken is coming for you. Every minute is both agony and relief. Finally you sense it, before you see or hear it. Just the impression of great speed and terrible wrath. As shouts go up from your crew, the Kraken surges into the currents and swells, from which only one of you will escape when the tide turns hours hence. Yeah, I never got this far last time, so... Please tell me the Devil Rock is loaded. I don't know, should should we be doing anything else or what? is working when it appears I shoot it. Are 
you dead or what? hard one where they don't automatically cut things. Look at this. Oh, I'm gonna die, aren't I? This is so hard. God damn thing. Flee. Start repairing. Yeah, look, there's no way I can take this on. Why can't I flee? Die. I don't know the tactics. Come on, somebody fucking man it. Come back here. Thank <laughs> you. 
That timing, huh? Right for impact! Jiggy, Captain's log. At last, you return to the fold together as one. Do you, you wish to resume your playthrough from your last Captain's log save? Yes. Oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Right. Just realized how do you do that again? I need ten bucks to repair everything. Where the hell? There we go. But I already bought all my upgrades, didn't I? Right? Before I save? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So how do you do... Oh, this one. Right, we'll get people set to their stations. First of all, you dickheads. This looks like a different ship. So... We don't need the chain shop because we're not against things. So we need the two gunners. The dock is there. That's good. Okay. Uh, I've forgotten already where I'm going. Okay, out of here. So I think I can do this now that I know like what the plot is because the problem was that I just my timing was all off. I think with better timing I can do it. It would be nice if I had a slightly stronger ship. But uh, we'll get there. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll see. We'll see. All right. No. Right for impact. Here's the question: Am I actually even using the devil rock? Or am I just using a normal mortar? Yeah, it's not using the devil rock, is it? <laughs> Just realized that, so I don't have the devil rock. <laughs> Just gotta shoot this goddamn thing.
No, I've fucking done the wrong button again. Why won't the gunfire? I was doing well there at the start, but... Why are they not going back to their fucking positions?
it's just as well I don't have a lifeboat because then I wouldn't be able to I'd have to do the whole lost at sea thing so do I go back and get the devil rock or what I mean yeah I guess he couldn't have kept it in his pocket so where the hell is that right so we go does that mean they're locked though I must be able where am I right now? Here. Okay, left gate. How annoying. Understand. Oh well, this is not fun. I think they're all locked, so it's like you can't because you can't go back. That's what happened. They block off the goddamn plot, like. I guess some people like games that are like really punishing. Yeah, that one's locked too. Like, is there anything I can do to... No, because these have numbers, this one doesn't, so I don't think the gate will open. Fuck off. So, it's just punishing me because I died. Like... I don't care. Let's just go fight the goddamn thing again. I'd say maybe I need to get more experience, but there isn't even anywhere, like, because they lock the gates. I think, I do think that's stupid. I, it's annoying that they lock the gates. I should be allowed to go back if I want. Oh god, and again, they're not in their positions. Can you please save the position? gonna put it out. This fucking bullshit. It's 
bullshit. Like... Is there a defence against that or is it just bullshit? Why is that guy just standing there? Oh, you son of a bitch! even anywhere to go to like improve the ship Is this random? Were these here because I, I yeah. Ah, <sighs> what can I do? What can I do? 
Just get, keep fighting and get better at it. Get some money and. I mean, what's gonna help? Like deck reinforcement all over. Will that help? I don't even know what would help. So I can only go from here. Three places maybe over here. If I go there, do the sick one. And get another 150. Yeah, right, let's see something I can do. Get some more money. As you approach the reef, you see a ship closing in on you from behind. There is no escape except through the reef. You have enough of a head start to attempt one of the many winding channels, or you can set up to fight in the reef itself. The enemy ship is fully prepared for combat. Aw, oh, yay! You hastily set a course through the reef, sweat bending your brow as you work your way through the painfully narrow channels. The enemy ship doesn't bother continuing their pursuit, and you're able eventually to make your way safely out of the reef. Celebratory mood after such a fortuitous escape. A few maggots and worms normally infest stores, but one opened barrel was utterly riddled with them. Too much to stomach, even for harvest seamen such as yourself. So I've lost some food now. Uh, I've got a good feeling about this one. And then we'll go through the gate and see if I can. Or something. Your course is converging on another ship. They don't seem to be moving with any real or intent or purpose. Continue on. You approach and the deck of the other vessel springs into life, a crew emerging from cunning hiding places to rapidly code cannons and ambush. Let's see, I didn't set them, did I? No goddamn worlds. can't ram here anyway with the spikes, so... Or just, I'm not really sure. This is just... Gonna... I don't see... What are the chances of me making enough money on this? would be good against the Kraken because it's free somebody up I guess maybe. See now I mean this is a genuine this is a game like this is super boring. Like there's nothing like you literally just have to wait until you destroy the ship. It's a battle of he's got your strong ship. to just cover that damage. Let's see. Do 
24, probably not. What's happened to him? Electrocuted. Uh, we're going through the gate. What a joke. Oh no, this is locked, locked. Oh, son of a bitch. Why doesn't... I guess that's maybe what it's trying to tell me. Shit. Alright. So, there's actually literally nothing I can do to help me fight some ships possibly earn some money but probably not this is so shit this is gas place this is a windy place I guess maybe it is up there maybe I'm just gonna try the cracking again Yeah, see? Fucking repaired. I don't even have enough. Bloody hell. Let's see if I get some money out of this. Oops. Now I've pushed the wrong... Yep, come on, let's try this goddamn thing. I'm so mad. I'm so mad that it won't let me get the Devil Rock after it. Like, what's the point? So mad. Right, gunners on guns. You help with the gun. And you steer for a while and then run around helping people, I guess. Bad. It's gonna be a bad one.
to know if you want to on a monster something is wrong the influence recoils from your inner mind as if burned on a hot coal memories flood back memories of terrible things committed by your hand if not your will it's too much for you to process too much too soon darkness consumes you and your consciousness is no more light precious light. Jagged memories resurface of figures you know once basked in your love. Where are they now? You don't know or can't remember. There is an awakening. Ground is beneath you, dry land, mercifully stable, hiding nothing. You hear low tones in conversation and open your eyes. Oh, we're back at landfall. You see your crew, and as they realize you are awake, they crowd round excitedly explaining recent events. If you understand correctly, you fell unconscious as the Kraken died. They sailed to landfall to beseech the healers and scholars there for help. A silhouette hovers over you, and as your eyes adjust, the shape into someone you recognize. Voltaire, you old rascal. You rasp. A flicker of a smile appears on her face. You've been under for ponderous long. No doubt your higher faculties and lower manners will return with rest. The unseen presence returns, cautiously this time. You sense its yearning. It loves all of its children, even one who rails against it so violently. There is an unspoken invitation. Return and all will be forgiven. But now, whenever the dark presence probes your mental defenses, you focus on the light of your loved ones. Are they alive or merely scintillating memories? You must find out. Killing the Kraken revealed them, tearing down a barrier to the truth. Hopefully confounding the cult in other ways will reveal more. As you regain your strength, the crew inform you that cult activity has only increased since the Kraken's defeat. No one else has been able to oppose the cult's inexorable dominance. The crew are as eager as you to resume the fight. Now they know what the cult are capable of. First, you must learn more about their immediate motives, perhaps by capturing one of their command vessels. Such a vessel is only captained by the upper echelons of cult leadership, and they rarely leave their fortress save for their most critical conquests. 
Perhaps disrupting enough of their activities will draw their ire and their finest ships forth in a display of power. We begin preparations in the morning. Your connection with the presence, has it always been there? Perhaps, but now you realize the link goes both ways. There were things you couldn't have known otherwise. You concentrate on gently probing along the link, trying to glean some new insight. You grope clumsily in the inner dark and sense a brief amusement from the presence that rules there. Then, just as suddenly, it slams up its own walls against you. You're clearly at a disadvantage, but you feel heartened for trying. Your hope for obtaining information via the presence has been dashed, so you'll have to do it the hard way. Refugees have been flooding into landfall, fleeing from the cult as they expand their reach. You can start by interviewing some of their leaders. Oh, sure. Um, okay, so... Yay, I killed the Kraken. That's what I wanted to do. And it was hard work fourth try or was it fifth anyway but I, I'm pretty pissed that I couldn't use the devil rock like what story games like this when they break with like what makes sense is really annoying I was trying to take this monster and I knew there was this devil rock that could help me and I had a bunch of it and then I got attacked by pirates, and I lost it. I think I'd go back and get more? Like, why the fuck couldn't I go back? Like, that's really pissed me off. That's really put a sour taste. Like, it's just fucking stupid. It has been an intensely exhausting but fruitful day. Stories drenched in woe and tears, hard voices, steely or glassy eyes. It all feeds your resolve to stop the cult, whatever it takes. Perhaps most urgently, the cult have begun enslaving people for unknown ends. It's abhorrent, and stopping it will frustrate the cult's twisted ambitions. The liberated may also be a valuable source of information. The cult are enslaving people. Rescue them when you can and put a stop to their slave trade. There have also been many corroborating rumours of people going missing, permanently. Your guess is they are being sacrificed by the cultists to the Halifron. These nests must be exterminated with extreme prejudice. By sacrificing innocents to the Halifron, the cult have revealed the locations of several nests. Burn them. Worryingly, certain port islands have been declaring loyalty to the cult. Whether out of fear or misguided or not, you know these places. Most are presided over by self-serving officials that care little for their people, and it shows. It likely wouldn't take much to stoke some fires and help the cult stoke weekly. Of course, stem the cult's relentless power grab into the bargain. Liberate ports. Some ports have fallen under the dominion of the cult. Liberate them. A region on your chart, far to the west, is heavily annotated and marked hotspots. You will doubtless discover as your journey continues. You make ready to depart with shot and steel in your hold and fire in your belly. By going to the world map and navigating to the cult islands region, you will see exploration maps highlighted with the red circle. These maps contain cult activity you must stop. Fast travel unlocked. In a port you can now visit the tavern and select the fast travel left hand side. You may travel to a port you have previously discovered for a supply cost. That's fine. Right, I don't have nothing. I ain't got nothing. Um, let's see. No money to collect. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to. So, what's the world map? This. World map, a minute. Pirates. So, where am I? Down here. So, where did I start, by the way? Here? No. the way. Mm. Right now, oh, God. 
This one? It's not... Uh, will I get mud? See if I can go south. Get some foods and stuff. Yeah, I can. See now, is this fishing or to buy fish? Because I ain't got nothing. And I want... Well, I actually just want to look and see what's here. Um, and a diving bell. So that's one place I can come back and get those two things. Then I need to find out where I can get the um, ramming things. I like them. So I'm still, I still main plot focus. I'm still cult focus, but. Um, I want, I need money and upgrades, I guess, right? I mean, gotta have resources to take on these Muta Futos on travel. So if I don't have okay. 35 is still happy though, I guess. the big red circle. There's the lighthouse. Oops, I missed it. Ah, look, if I'm supposed to be cult focused, I should go kill these guys, right? It has already changed course and is heading straight for you. It's intentional. Still time to avoid the ship if you wish. If you wish. Let them come. We'll be ready. Well, I say that, but I don't know if that's true, mate. At least we're all in position. He's coming right for us. Forget that you've got to tell the guns where to shoot. large the scavenging crewmen cries amongst the wreckage but you nor your sea brothers can deny that he seems tightly sprung with excitement we'll buy some fish anyway let's see what we got around here and get money for oh it's like a volcano thing I'll go fishing over here and it's usually, if it's by fish, it's usually a cheer bar. Off we go, get some fish. Fisherin, fisherin. Fisherin, fisherin. The corner crew gets out. Ooh, let's dive into the top of the school of fish close to the surface. Sail close and your crew are shortly pulling up bulging nets. Right, let's see what's going on. Want to get involved in this? You see the rain volcano, an impressive spectacle on a beautiful coastline. Lava streams down to the sea in tiny increments as the water solidifies it. Allowing yourself a moment to appreciate the sights, a shout draws your attention when you see a ship coming straight for you. It looks like they mean to do battle here in all places, where a deadly barrage of molten rocks shower the area at a moment's notice. You're pinned against the coast and have no choice but to engage them. 
guess it's just just like to have different you know Types of battles and obstacles and stuff. Ah! Is there a button? one left. fight bad guys. You've been keeping a close eye on a strange ship for a while now. It lists aimlessly and you have seen no sight of any crew. The lifeboat is missing. What happened to you? Prepare a boarding party but be ready for an ambush. As soon as the last of your boarding party make it onto their deck, hidden hatches spring open and spew out armed men. Some jump straight for your ship. It's a trap! Why are we trying to help them? I'm a good little girl and I'm a hero. No. The ship was carrying valuables, old, odd trinkets and exotic looking cloth. They may smell a little odd, but they should fetch a decent price. Yeah, I've made some money back pretty quick, huh? The ship moves within range and before you know it they've opened fire. A lucky shot destroys the sick bay. You'll need to perform some mid-battle repairs before it'll be usable again. I, I really shouldn't engage. I'm at half-life. Oh well. I don't think I need to worry about the sick bay, but yeah, I can get it. Let's not worry about the sick bay. Stand overboard! Auto winch, auto winch, do right? Yes. Yeah.
A just to shoot anything. There we go. Oh, this red. Hold your fire! Let's see. I want to get a diving bell. I want to get. I want to pour it down here and get a few repairs here for cheap. Alright, we'll go down and get the cheap repairs. Have I opened all I still have one more event to open all the gates. I don't know if I want the other gate opened or what, but come on. Um, where's the port? Here's the port. I believe I have a map. Yes. Uh everybody's fine, right? Ooh, look at this. He's got a gold thing here. Faster than maneuver fires are charged. Now he's got a physical problem. He uses the winch, that's fine, because we have an auto winch. Oh. So the gunner is no good at navigation, but as long as it doesn't affect his gunning, I don't really care. Poison weakness, that's fine. That's looking good, isn't it? Because they've been with me a while. Hmm. Of course, these are all convicts, so they'll never get better. That is where the value is of, um... You know, buy-in guys. Self-preservation. Heal themselves. What can he do? Halifron. Oh, that'd be nice. He's tough. Oh, he's tough. Oh, look, he starts off with a better, um... Is this accuracy or what? Reload. That's tempting. Reload and... Doesn't get incapacitated. 180, though. I don't think I can justify upgrading the crew when I have a ship to sort out. Um, hang on, wasn't I going to get cheap repairs somewhere? Maybe I did, I don't know. Repair. Berserk dart gun. Darts that send the enemy berserk for a short duration. No direct damage, berserk crew receive and deal. Less damage. Receive and deal less damage. Berserk non humans receive and deal normal damage. Mm. No. No. Mm. Automatic water pumps. Yes, they are so important. And a lifeboat. Heavy hull armor I already have. Reduces hull damage by 20%. Yeah. I want to get the spikes. Hmm. Hell isn't here though. No. Won't be one of these options. I wonder if I go out and come back in, will I get more options? Probably. But I don't have enough. To, uh, I'll have to go get some more treasure anyway. So where do I want to go? Where am I? Here. So I can go over there and see what's happening. See what's happening over there. Get uh, get some exploration monies. I 
want the spikes. And a diving bell. Oops. Oh. Oh. Didn't know you could get there that way. So that is the same as that. What's the point in having two buttons? The most efficient thing is to do a circle as well. You want to go back and forth. Ooh. Toxic pirates. No lighthouse. Alright. Well, I'll try and explore without getting into too much trouble. Okay. Events, right? Let's go see what this is. Oh. Can do nothing. Got an open gate already. Is there a dock there? If there isn't a dock, then I'm wasting my time exploring. There's like nothing here. Just a few pirates. Oh, some free treasure. That's some pretty music. go to the port because of the pirates, is it? <sighs> well, for the money, I guess, I can do it. i take out some faction ladies. I don't understand why the top gate is open. It says zero out of seven. Let's try it. Let's take on some pirates. Although there isn't the thing at the top to... Oh! It's a ghost ship. They're ghost pirates. That's why they look different. Alright, same diff I hope. Everybody, 
distracted by these ghost things. your goddamn positions. You get on the helm. Now you're gonna try and take out the ground. You fix the ship. I haven't heard anybody shooting in ages. On the goddamn wheel. I'm really gonna have to. ship or you got them. That ship was the stuff of nightmares made real, but you've bested it. Oh my god. Man, that was horrific, man. That was really tough. Or 
Was it even that tough or did it just take a really long time? So I'd have to do all four of them to... Is this worth my while? I don't know. I got two places to go. Let's uh... Yeah, I'm not sure that's worth my while. It's 150 plus whatever. Oh, that's close. Well, that is close. Okay. That makes sense that it's closed, but I didn't realize what it was. So... It's going to cost me 25 to go back. See, is this going to be... And I've taken out the factions before. The last one to come after me is... Yeah, screw this man. Where is this? This is the Imperium Miles. Well, don't go back the way I came, I guess. I want to see... Um, what I can get. To be honest, I, I guess you know when I play games, I do get a bit annoyed sometimes. And if and if it annoys me, it's like super annoying. Um, so the stuff with the Devil Rock has really annoyed me. You look out, calls down from the crow's nest. The ship is seen in the distance. He yells down, "Sir, that ship is fast. We can try and run, but we won't get far." Uh, I'm just trying out run. Your lookout wasn't wrong, the enemy bears down on you before you've got far. They've closed the distance from ready for battle. Your crew dashed to their battle stations, but you know you'll be taking the first hit. That's interesting. Is that like a real Oh I see. Okay. Kablooey is what we said there. Take a few hits. Just throw a few shots. And we might have him already on repairs and we're in trouble. What you're saying is we're in trouble. another day. Well, probably the same day. That was a bad one. Uh, some pirates over there. Hmm, where's the port? Oh, God. Can I get a few? Did I see? Yeah, a few repairs over there. I definitely can't take anyone on. I'm gonna die. Oh, man. I did not realize how much damage I was taking on. That will keep me from certain death. So... Hmm. Oh, let's get the fish. Thirty-eight fish. Uh, 
Uh, the lookout calls down a lifeboat has been spotted. The crew look for you for the order. Let's take a closer look. As you get closer, you see several unconscious sailors sprawled around the lifeboat. The crew climb down, checking for survivors. Most have slipped away. A couple endure. They are carefully hauled aboard, and the crew tend to them. Their road to recovery is a long one, but they will make it. We have made a friend. We do lot, mate, and friends. Oh, God. An archduke was obsessed with leaving a legacy by building a huge wall between islands that would completely encircle landfall. It would prove an impenetrable barrier with gates along its perimeter to control the shipping in and out of the capital. The empire's ambition in those opulent times that the idea was actually entertained. Not surprisingly, the obscene cost swiftly emptied the region's coffers and the subsequent tax hikes prompted riots bordering on open revolt. A terrible drought the following summer ended any hopes of finishing the project. What was built proved a formidable defence, though incomplete, it could simply be circumnavigated. It swiftly became known as Joseph's Debt, much to the chagrin of the project's architect, the Archduke. So there's no port here, is what you're telling me. Son of a bitch. Right, where do I want to go? Back to landfall. I'll go up to this place, Stonewatch. I'll just have to try and not get killed by pirates. Lifeboat drifting in the sea. Oh no, they're all dead and it makes my crew sad. So it's gonna cost me to fucking upgrade my ship here. boarding spikes. These are what I want. These are what I want. These are what I want. Oh no, they're not what I want. Oh, they only damage crew when they leap onto your ship. That's not what I want. Um, alright. I don't know what I want to do now, to be honest. Um, so my goal is just to start attacking the cult. Go on the offensive, take out slavers, halifrons, and liberate them. So that's that's nice and nice and clear. But I, I felt like I have to upgrade my ship for this. I think I might leave it there for this evening because I get so disillusioned. I get so sad. Last time I just lost my ship. I think I'm still sad about that. It was even better than the ship I have now. I'm so sad. I know. I'm annoyed about the plot. And, um. Yeah. I'll go fight some cult leaders. Maybe tomorrow. The day after tomorrow. But I'm just gonna leave it there now because. Because I'm shag. I'm a little sad. I'm a bit disheartened and disillusioned. Ah, <sighs> family's so sleepy too. Okay, well, hey. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate every view and any comments and stuff. I hope it's been mildly entertaining. I'm just a girl playing games. Yarrr.
see you. Bye.